And now, what are you going to eat? I don't have time. It's so beautiful. It's old and it's heavy. It looks like someone gave it to you. Sometimes I think the only pressures in my life are... The, the only what? I'm sorry? You said the only pressures. Pleasures. I said pleasures. No. What you said was pleasures. And this is what I'm telling you. Many things that should be pleasures are not. Uh, your book is a bestseller. Your income jumps up. People think of you differently, perhaps. This is confusing. Listen to me, slow down. Try to enjoy your success. Give yourself all the rewards you would like to have. You see a beautiful gold lighter. Buy one for yourself. Your friend asks you to lunch. Go and eat lunch with her. Do you forgive me? Oh. Goodbye. Oh, work. Now, I come into your candy store, and I give you $20 in singles, and I say, excuse me, miss, could you please give me a $20 bill? I have to send a registered letter to my mother. To your aunt. It's more pathetic. Send it to your aunt. To my aunt. And it's addressed, and there's a stamp on it. You give me a $20 bill. Give me the 20 and I seal it. And you watch me seal it in the envelope. Now, I gave you what appeared to be $20 in singles. But when you count it, there's only 19. And you say, I've only got 19. I've only got 19. Here, let me count it. And there are only 19. God, I'm sorry. Let me get another dollar from my wife in the car. Here, hold this a minute. And I give you the envelope with the $20 in it, and I take the $19, and I go home. Goodbye. And that's a little larceny called the flu. I don't get it. You don't get it? You gave me the 20, I gave you the 19. Yes. I just want a dollar. Open the envelope. Right. <laughs> but I saw you put the $20 bill in there. No. That's what you thought you saw. How did you steal the bill? Secrets of the pyramids. It's OK, Joe, show her. I think we owe her one. All right. The flu revealed. Let's do it again. I come into your store, and I hand you $20 in singles. And I say, excuse me, miss, could you please give me a $20 bill? I have to send a registered letter to my aunt. And you give me the bill, and I seal it. And you watch me seal it in the envelope. <laughs> a little page in the history of the short con. It was very nice talking to you. In or out?
I read a book once which said this. If you're fired from your job, when you're going home, take something. A pencil, something to assert yourself. Take a memento. Do you really think so? Yes, that's exactly what I think. I'm going to wash up, and then let's get out of this guy's room. Get out of here. Mike, how did you know she was going to go for it? Go for it? Hey, the broad's an addict. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Listen to this. The bitch, when we're dressing the room, when you were dressing my hotel room, I was spreading some personal junk on the bureau. We put some personal stuff up on the bureau. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So it'll look like somebody's in the room. Uh-huh. Get this. Listen to this. I leave some stuff. I leave 40, 50 bucks up on the desk. Now, the broad steals my pocket knife. No. The broad, my hand to God. She boosts my lucky pocket knife. Can you be dead? The bitch is a booster. The bitch is a born thief, man. So you had her made from the jump. We took out for the hotel, two hotel rooms. Speaking of which, $300 for your hotel room? I always show a little fun. You taught me that yourself, Mike. Oh, you're such a flatterer. Hey, spent 300 to make 80,000. Mike, you are the ringtail rounder. You are King Kong. One riot, one ranger. Who oh, you put that bitch in the panic bag? Hey, baby, this is my road game. What's next? For me, a vacation. I'm going to Vegas tonight on the 10 o'clock. You want to come? Quit and win us this time. Miss you. What did I say? We got the two hotel rooms. $52.90 for two policemen's uniforms. $25 we gave the parking lot attendant, $500 to the kid. Give me a running total. Sorry, darling. Please order for me. Excuse me. Yes? Could you tell me what that is on the buffet? A Waldorf salad. Thank you. 